I think it was David Bowie who probably said it best. Um, how did it go? Oh yeah. Chicha, 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 changes. Well, hey everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Q and Answers. My name's Q Manning and I'm the general manager and founder of Rock Sauce. What is a Rock Sauce? We are a digital product agency. We're in Austin, Texas. We help customers solve problems with products. That's right. We help customers solve these problems with web apps, mobile applications, websites, action figures. Maybe sometimes it's just a process. Maybe it's just a workshop where we come and help you align visions. And that's what we do. Customers bring us their problem, which may be this itty bitty little baby problem that actually is a much bigger problem and we help them uncover what the actual root causes are. And then we create a solution that solves that problem for the people who have the problem. Because it's gotta be people first, right? You gotta make sure that people want what the heck you're doing. Otherwise, why even bother? Each week, I come here and I produce a video in which I talk to our customers about a problem that I'm hearing from my clients. Sometimes those problems will be big, sometimes those problems will be small, but this time around, it's something that a lot of folks are dealing with. When everything is changing, how do I make sure we aren't left behind? Things change for a lot of different reasons. Maybe it's 9-11. Maybe it's a presidential election and things have shifted from the left to the right or somewhere in between. And suddenly things are more pro-business than they were, or maybe things are more anti-business and you've got to figure out how to work in that situation. Maybe there's a big privacy concern that's happened like GRPD and that comes down and suddenly everything about a website's got to change and the way you approach people's data has to change. So you've got to adapt to this situation. But realize that it's not just you that's adapting to the situation. Your customers are as well. And because they are now thinking differently, and because they are now being different in how they're reacting to things, you now have this opportunity to also be different and sort of be given a free pass for changing things up. You're far less likely to now have a customer who goes, I like the way things used to be done because they're going to give you the leeway to say, oh, I see why they're changing this now because everything's kind of changed, right? We got to make modifications. The world's different. Not only will they give you that leeway, they also have a different expectation. What causes a change can be anything. It could be a disruptor in your industry. So are you changing to meet that disruption to make sure that your product is good as your competitor? It's gonna make your client happy and they're gonna understand that. So you need to follow and see what's happening and how can you modify your approach or modify your product or modify anything you're doing to feed into and feed from the current circumstance. How you operate in today's situation will have a effect down the line. 9-11 happened what, 20 years ago? Even today, we're still feeling the ramifications of that in our deficit, in our budget, in the way the airports operate and the products that were created and how big suitcases are made so they can fit in the right kind of bins, everything in between. 20 years ago, when people started making changes and adapting to those things, they didn't necessarily know that in 20 years, they're still going to be dealing with the same situations, but they do. What you do today can help out down the line. You can try to stay in place, but if you look at companies that have lasted over the last hundred years, right, that have, have just continued to thrive, every single one of them has done one thing. They've had one thing in common, and that is that they have changed with the situation. They change with how things are happening because major shifts require people to look at what they're doing and seeing if it's still valid. Prohibition. Alcohol went away. Well, okay. There are still some people in the speakeasies, hey there, Charlie, can I give me a beer? Who were still providing alcohol. But in general, as far as the broad consensus of America went, alcohol was illegal. So companies had to adapt. Anheuser-Busch is one of those companies. 
they had a certain set of ingredients that they were using on a day-to-day -day basis. And they used these in beer. And suddenly, well, now they can't make beer anymore. So what are they gonna do? Are they gonna go out of business? Well, no, not if they wanna keep rocking it. They found a way to adapt their product line to what was going on. So they found ways to use malt and all sorts of different stuff and barley and all sorts of different things and stuff that may not be around anymore, like malt cola. Want a malt cola? It sounds kind of gross. I mean, I like malted milk balls, and I like Ovaltine malted chocolate, and I like malt sir. I even like malt in my waffle, but I don't think I want malt in my soda. But at the time, it helped them. It helped them continue to persevere and help them stay in business, so that when things shifted back, they're able to just resume same products that they had before, same ingredients they've already had on stock. None of that changed. They were able to persevere, keep going. Other companies, they didn't adapt. And what happened was they sort of went, eh, I can't get this done, I'm gonna fail, and they went out of business, and it sucked. Depending on the circumstance, you may find that you need to have a stronger digital presence than you thought you had. You know, a lot of companies, a lot of people out there, they do a great job at selling person to person, but they don't do the best job selling online. Maybe they have a website, but that website is basically just a brochure. It's a way to contact them. Uh, you may sell flour and you don't sell it on the internet. You just provide flour and they, people go to your website and they learn about your company. They learn about your history. They learn about why your flour is the best flour for making sourdough bread. But if I wanted to order it directly from you, I didn't have the chance. I had to go to my store. I had to go to Amazon. But things sometimes change and maybe people can't get your product from the grocery store. Maybe people can't get your product from Amazon because when they go click, click, can I have my product? Amazon says a month. And they're like, well, I wanna make bread tomorrow. Well, you gotta wait a month. Companies like that can adapt and create a stronger online presence, allow people to buy from them directly. And then suddenly they go, okay, now I have multiple avenues of revenue. They can still sell their product the way they did before. They can still do things the way they did before in stores, whatever it may be. But now they have another avenue. They have a new way to be there for their customers. Now, companies that do have a strong digital presence are also gonna face the fact that in light of the current circumstances, they may need to change the way they approach that. Sales funnels won't work the same anymore. Websites won't work the same as they did before whatever situation occurred. We've had that issue happen in ourselves. We've had a sales funnel, had a cool little uh, book that we gave away to people. It was working really well. A lot of people were coming to us, talking to us, engaging with our services. And then a situation happened. And suddenly our funnel wasn't quite working the way it was before. Why? Was the content still not good? The content was great, but it was great for yesterday's world, y'all. It wasn't great for today's world. And so it wasn't quite hitting the mark the way it once was. So now we have to retool that and figure out a new way to speak to the market as it currently is, not as how the market was and how we wanted things to be. You have to figure out if there's a way that you can take whatever your competitive advantage is and get that going in a digital way. So that way you can approach as many people as possible and you can make sure that you are continuing to strive as things move forward. Say you're a self-help guru and you are out there telling your story in speeches, TED Talks, whatever it may be. And you're going out there and you're saying, I struggled with overeating, I struggled with my weight, I struggled with crippling anxiety and the complete inability to communicate with other individuals, and I just decided one day I would change. I would become a different man. That man would be Q Manning. It's a true story. When some things change, and I can't travel as much, or people can't gather the way they were, or whatever may happen, and old crisis and people can't get in their cars and drive the distance they would, suddenly you may not be able to give your talks anymore. Well, then your revenue is gone and people went to your website. What could they do? And they could book your talk. That was it. That's all they could do is they contact you, booked your talk. Take this opportunity to grow. Write that book you've always been wanting to write. Take your self-help program and turn it into a process, a process that people can get on your website and they can go through step by step by step 
maybe it's a mobile application they can carry in their pocket. And so as they're doing various different things and they come into different circumstances, they go, oh, I'm dealing with this. Let me pop out this mobile app and beep, bop, boop. There you go, you're getting help and you're logging all the time. Then when travel restrictions are lifted or whatever may happen, suddenly now you have an additional stream of revenue. People can still come out and hear you, but now they can also read your book. And now they can also hop on your website and go through your program. And now they can also have the mobile buddy in their pocket all the time, talking to them in your voice, helping them out. Puts you in a better position. When things change, it's scary. Everybody knows this, but growth requires change. Pearls aren't made without a little bit of friction, y'all, right? Gotta have it. Take this opportunity and be better when you come out of it. Realize that because everybody else is changing, it's okay to change too. No one's gonna look down at you. Nobody's gonna think you're being opportunistic. Nobody's going to think that you're being weird or you're creating problems or that you aren't doing a good job because you change when things change. Facts on the ground should shift opinion. So take this opportunity when everybody else is shifting and shift as well. If you need some help shifting, if you need to get your digital presence going, if you need to figure out a better way to do digital transformation, maybe you have a product you finally wanna make because you are an awesome self-help guru and you wanna make sure that you can do it when you can't give speeches, you know what you can do? You can pick up a telephone. What's up Q, how you doing? Yeah, I got an idea for a product. Yep, sounds good. Or you can shoot me an email. Dear sir or madam, I would like to tell you that I have a great idea to take my company to the next level. We are very stagnant in our dot, dot, dot. And we're gonna get back to you and help you out. With that, I really appreciate you taking the time to tune in. If you get the chance to like and subscribe, definitely like, because I wanna see some people liking the videos. Really do appreciate that. Um, share them if you think you'd be helpful for somebody. My name's Q Manning. This has been Q and Answers. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Adios.